I'm James Solkowski. Thanks for joining me for another free art lesson. We're going to talk about glazing because it seems to be a difficult subject for a lot of students. But what I've done here, I, I have a, a lemon that I painted in black and white. This is an old master technique. And uh, I'm going to glaze color on top of this. So, see, the, the, uh, the old master separated the problems of painting. They paint the form first, the light and shadow, and it's always in a higher key. And then when we glaze, the glaze is a darker color over the light, the lighter gray here. So let's just get right into it here. Here's uh, some cadmium yellow light. I'm going to dip in the medium and a little bit in the paint, wipe it off a little bit, and then we'll just put it right on there very thinly. It's not a really soupy mixture at all. You know, it's very thin though. We don't need much medium at all. So we'll start with that. And then as the color will, will get richer as we move towards the, this half tone here. So let's take a deeper yellow, very little medium, and we'll put it in here. And it'll actually, you'll see the gray through that. And it'll help to keep that atmospheric feeling about the, the form. See now, now we'll get into the shadow. This is the shadow area. So I could take another brush, dip it in the oil, and then I, I made a mixture here of raw umber with a little bit of cadmium red light. It's very thin. So you want to keep these, these colors very thin. And then we'll put this warm shadow right in here. And just blend that. And under here is the reflected light. So I'll clean my brush and then we'll take some yellow ochre. And once again, very thinly, We'll just put that right here. And see, this, this creates more depth in the painting. So it doesn't take much color at all. What I'll do, too, is I'll take a little bit of cadmium orange. I think I'm going to make this just a little richer yet, where we move towards that shadow. The, the richest color in any object is towards the half tone as it moves into shadow. So that's there. And then on top of that lemon, we'll take pure white. So I, just, I could load the brush and put a nice opaque highlight on there. See, just blend that out there. See, like that. Take the mall stick, very, maybe just blend it a little bit more, see. Now let's take the, a background color I can glaze on there. We'll take some phthalo green and some umber, just as because it's a rich dark. And it's a cool dark, see very thinly again with some medium. And I can just put that on top. It's hard to see, but because it's so dark, but there's color in this. See, the, the key, though, is just to keep it thin, and, and also don't make it too, don't make it runny at all, because I think the, the myth is that the glaze has to be very wet, and it really doesn't. So. Here's some ochre. We'll put this on the table plane and see, it'll, it'll look luminous as the, the light comes through that. And actually, the last thing we'll do is put some more of that shadow 
right under the lemon, right here, see? Right there. Okay, well, I'm James Solkowski. Thanks for joining me. If you want to check out my website, jamessolkowski.com, you'll see some of my still life work. And some of the paintings were done like this.